Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new video. First, I just want to apologize if you hear any cars or noise in the background. I'm recording this at a different time than usual, and it's quite busy outside. Today's video is a bit special for me because I'll be unboxing something I wanted for ages now, and those are books by the artist Jeremy Mann. I wanted to preface this by saying I'll be opening up the books in this video, and I'll show you just some small clips from the books, but I will not be showing every page in the volumes. One, it is not in my right, and two, I only wanted to show a bit so you may feel inspired to purchase the books for yourself. With that being said, I am happy to have these in my collection. Jeremy Mann is a huge influence in my life and artistic career. If you don't know who he is, he goes by RedRabbit7 on Instagram and has a YouTube channel as well where he posts his films. I'll link everything down below. He is an incredible painter and his work ranges from figures to cityscapes and landscapes. He has such a unique way of expression in his paintings that I simply can't do justice by describing. The level of dedication to his craft is completely beyond me. He goes so far as to making his own Polaroid and film cameras out of spare parts and cigar boxes to shoot reference photos with, and he creates elaborate sets and costumes for his models to pose in. He has taken his passion for film beyond pictures and has branched out into making his own films as well. In the first volume of his book, there is a quote by John Pence that says, Man represents a young visionary whose paintings and work processes are bold and distinctive. The apparent chaos of so much action and activity are woven together, creating fusion and harmony. The results are dynamic inventions of an ever-changing artist whose works are magical to behold. I found that the perfect description of a painter like man. Every time I look at his paintings, I see something new and even more complex. The way he uses strokes and marks to imply detail without actually painting it is incredible. I love the dedication he has to painting and his unique perspective on art. So when I look at these books, I feel so overwhelmingly inspired and motivated to paint and to improve. On his website, he offers the sketchbooks I have here, but with a personalized sketch from the artist himself, and I believe he does that with the plain air books as well. I would have loved to have a copy with an original sketch from him, but unfortunately it was a bit too pricey. And it could take weeks to come, which I'm just a bit too impatient for. On another note, today I'm doing a study of one of his photographs, which he takes using homemade Polaroid cameras from wine and cigar boxes with pre-war antique analog lenses. The effect it creates is so magical. I love how the images aren't crisp and have a dream-like quality to them. I particularly like the pose in this image, especially with the dramatic lighting. I wanted to capture that mood, and I had a really enjoyable time painting it. 
For this study, I am only using titanium white and ivory black. I wanted to keep it simple and really focus on the values. I started off with toning the panel, then sketching the pose and composition out with ivory black, mixed with a bit of Gamsol to thin the paint down. I had to rework the pose a few times because the scale wasn't something I was used to. My focus was to keep the study very loose. I wanted to, in a sense, emulate his style of painting, where you can see each brushstroke and use that to create form. Mine is obviously much looser and messier than his works are, but I really enjoyed creating the shapes and forms with the brush and not worrying about perfection or tightness. I found myself really enjoying the process because I didn't feel the pressure of turning out a beautiful piece. With YouTube, I get a bit worried that I have to produce amazing artworks by the end of the video, or my channel will suffer for it. I'm slowly coming to realize that it's not the case. I created this channel to document my journey as an artist and to share my process with you guys. So if I need to take the time to do some studies, or just create some bad art, that's what it'll be. I want to learn more and also share the realities of being an artist. The truth is, every artist creates bad work from time to time, and that's just part of the process. It's part of learning. So I've allowed myself to share this study with you guys today. It's not a masterpiece, but I'm proud of what I got out of it. I'd really like to take this month to go back to the basics and focus on strengthening my foundations. I'll definitely be sharing that process, so I hope you guys stick around to see. In all honesty, I'm probably going to do more studies of Jeremy Mann's work to really learn as much as I can from him. I won't make a video out of all of them, but if you're interested in seeing more, you can check out my Instagram, at Sarah Lurito. Speaking of Instagram, I'll be posting a new reel or so every Tuesday through Saturday of some plain air studies I'll be doing. 
I really would like to paint more from life, especially plain air since it is something I'm not as familiar with. And so I decided to wake up a bit earlier in the mornings and do a quick one to two hour plain air study to really get the practice in. So head over to my Instagram if you'd like to check that out. I'm saying this here partly for you guys, but partly to hold myself accountable. It's really easy to stay in bed, especially if you had a late night or just aren't a morning person like I am. But I realize if this is something I want to do, I have to make time for it. So saying it here is a way for me to commit to it. If I know people are expecting me to put out certain content, then I don't have an excuse not to do it. I don't know how long I'll keep up with it, but I hope to do it at least for the month of May, starting with the first post this Tuesday. The other thing I wanted to mention is my work is being displayed on a virtual show at Greenpoint Gallery, and voting is ongoing. I would sincerely appreciate it if you guys head over to Greenpoint Gallery and vote for my work in the show. It's only $3 to enter, and it, the voting ends May 5th, 2021. The winner gets a solo show at the gallery, which would be an incredible opportunity for me to bring my work out into the world. If you are interested, please check the description and you'll find a link to place your vote there. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And with that said, that is all I have for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you again for your support, and I'll see you next time.